Welcome to the new season, gentlemen. We have Faker in the mid lane playing no other than, unfortunately, yes, AD LeBlanc mid. It's back. Uh, a lot of the LCK mid laners have been talking about it. They think this AD LeBlanc variant is making its way back into the mid lane in season 14. Um, it's an annoying pick, but I thought, what better way to start the year off than spectating one of Faker's first games on the new season, on the new map, watching him hopefully finesse all over this cannon. Now, essentially, I think AP LeBlanc is dead. I do think AP items have definitely improved this patch. Um, Storm Surge is a great item. A lot of the extra damage you're getting from things like the Shadow Flame, um, definitely working out well. But LeBlanc, at the end of the day, the Static Shiv build into crit is too annoying. With the try, it's just too potent. Um, that I think that a lot of these mid laners in high elo are going to go default into it. Um, which is, I just don't like it. I hate, I hate LeBlanc AD. I don't like it. Um, but Fake is spamming it. He's the world champ. He's the GOAT. So I will spectate it, talk over the top of it, um, and have a geese what he's up to. I haven't really talked to Bobkin. He is like the NA LeBlanc one trick who really invented AD LeBlanc or was the, one of the first people to start spamming it. Um, I'm not sure what he likes at the moment. I definitely know he wouldn't like the AP LeBlanc, but whether he likes a crit AD LeBlanc, maybe he likes uh, on hit. I don't know. Always weird seeing Faker play AD LeBlanc. Having watched him for like 10 years play the AP LeBlanc. He's like a 99% win rate over in the LCK for a while. As we see also Samira. But the best mid lane, the, the best champions at the moment going from top to bot. In the top lane, I believe Jax is having a ridiculously high win rate. Um, AD carry, Samira. Mid lane, Fizz. Jungle, I haven't really looked into. Support, I think Blitzcrank is still doing very well. A lot of the engaged subs. And then things, of course, like Soraka, the Sona, the Seraphine. Like the stupid enchanter subs that always do well. Um, these are the biggest benefiters at the moment on the patch. But mid lane Fizz is doing tremendous. Akali doing tremendous. It should be absolutely no surprise. Twisted Fate, also one of the most underrated picks right now. Huge presence in the mid lane. Dopa. He's on military break or something at the moment, I believe. I don't know if he's been playing or not. But if he was, that AP Twisted Fate probably helping him out. Looks like Oriana is not doing too well. A lot of these mages are just getting burst too fast in these fights because the way that the, this patch has worked is that mid lane AP champs have a lot more AP raw, but they have no haste. So for champions that want to spam abilities over and over and over again, or like get a couple of rotations in a fight like the Oriana, it doesn't seem to be working as well as like the one shot champions. I think Nico should be doing well also. Great access to like these uh, non-mana items as Faker pulls the freeze. Big lead over the cannon here already. I love watching Faker's laning phase. I think it's one of the things he's improved the most over last year. It was one of the things he was struggling with when he went up against mid like laners like Chovy, like Knight. Um, and by the end of the world, he was able to go head um, to head with some of the best laners in the world. I think it's one of the things he improved 100%. As once again, dude, we need to nerf Void Grub. I don't want to see three or 50 goddamn notifications on my screen. I have a meltdown. Can we please get rid of that just to make it one and then have like times three or something on it? Like, I don't want to see three of them. It's too much. As I am over in Europe at the moment doing a challenge against the Baus and EU Solicute. You guys are wondering why my apartment looks like... I'm a single dad with three children that I have had to give to my wife. I don't see them anymore. I'm bankrupt because of my crippling addiction. That is not true. <laughs> I'm totally fine. I haven't been kicked out of my house by my wife. She hasn't taken the dog. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Anyways, this cannon is really struggling in the mid lane. Great freeze by Faker. His wave manipulation here. I can always tell when it's Faker because of his movements in lane. 
I remember when he had an account over in EU and everyone was trying to find his accounts. I found an account and just looked at the way he moved in lane. And all these like stutterings, I just, I can, I can always tell it's him. No one quite is able to hold a consistent APM like him. Always going in between like this. Looking to get at least one or two minion XP advantages. And I haven't versed Faker for a while. I think the last time I versed Faker was maybe two or three years ago. He wasn't as oppressive as the mid laners um, like Chovy that I versed. Um, these really aggressive BDD mid laners that I versed. It seems like he's slowly trying to put more pressure on all these players. Old man Faker not giving up any of his mechanics as we're still not able to get a kill in the mid lane here. As we know, AD LeBlanc, it definitely is a scaling champion. It's like once you hit one to two items, that's when you start coming into the game and that's where I expect him to start side landing a lot. I'm gonna put my cam a little bit smaller so I can see the map. It should be, yeah, when he hits about two items, you're gonna start seeing the potency of AD LeBlanc. He goes wide, comes back through. It's four kills to seven here. 1k gold advantage over to the blue team. Sorry, red team. This Faker does land it. Dropping very low, goes in, gets the kills, doesn't snap back. It's a one for one. And this Master is really starting to pick up a lot of pace. The Sejuani top, hey? Triple over to the Viego who's going Lethality. Is that right? Baker actually very... He's actually struggling a lot with these E's, isn't he, gentlemen? And I'm hoping we don't see Sedge lane. There was a minute there where we were seeing a lot of Sedge top and even mid lane. I hate the pick. It might be strong, but I just don't like it. As the Viegos rush to Collector. Disgusting specimen. Baker with a great wave positioning. He's not going to move for any of this BS. And a lot of the mids that I think are probably going to start doing better are Tick Mages. Like things like uh, Malzaha, I think, is possibly going to be a good pick. Uh, Velkoz, maybe even Anivia. Cassiopeia numbers seem to be pretty good as well. Okay, you have to back up a little bit. He almost has enough for the Static Shiv here. And it always feels awkward when you're on blue team. How long? Look how long you have to walk because of this big old rock in the mid lane. It's one thing I really don't like. It feels so awkward. As his jungle and top both go down. And we are struggling out here, gentlemen. Enemy team is completely rolling this rel. It's actually just pure sup gap. Been a part of every single fight. As once again, 57 notifications come up. Really, dis really disheartening seeing that. Luckily, Ezreal is able to get a kill under the Samir gets a shutdown. And we are almost double the cannon CS already, just from how Fake has been playing this wave. Just slowly coming into him, and he moves up, trims it in a little bit. If you are not, like even when I go down and play in Platinum, I find players pulling these type of freezes nowadays. It's, it's pretty much the basics. And it's crazy to go back and look at like Worlds in 20, 20, uh, 2013. And like mid laners didn't pull freezes. I'm pretty, I'm pretty convinced that a platinum player of this year would be able to go back and school some of the world's players of 2013, you know, 2012. Some of the o the OG players. As Charm, Chain, sorry, gonna land. Give that kill over the Master Yi. Rower built for the Sedge. Silas top lane also a pick I've been seeing slowly. Bacon needs to hard shove this in to get his Shiv, get his wave clear. We get 112 CS. 
and my replay boy gives himself a shout out. Baker moves in, finds the Simira. Charm. Why do I keep calling it Charm? It's Chain, Drew. We're forced to absolutely flash out. Oh my god. Fake a moment. Oh my god, it's a fake a moment. It's a. Oh my god. Chain. Does the chain land? It does. Don't think he's going to be able to follow up on it, but that is huge for the beast over in the mid lane. Still working to try and get that rail bounty, but I think it's going to be fine. And kills the 17. 3k gold lead still for red team. So we're going to head back. Down to the side lane. The tower should for sure go down. Kicks back. And we're almost at that 2-3 item mark where this AD LeBlanc should be able to take over. You can see the Silas has gone for the Ludens. No more Everfrost in the game. I don't know why they're removing I liked Everfrost. I thought it was a pretty cool item. I, I was hoping they were going to keep some type of like active item for mages like that. But it seems like it has just been completely removed. It hasn't been kept around. We should be seeing a lot more build diversity nowadays in... Every single role, especially mid lane, with how many different AP items, AD, bruiser items, there's so many different things happening. We are going to do what AD LeBlanc does best, kind of side lane, split, push, 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 push. And we need, with the addition of these Void Grubs, you can see the extra damage. Takes down the cannon. What a slow death. The thing about AD LeBlanc is like it's such a slow death. There's no burst. She just chains you in autos and you can't get on top of her. One of my worst nightmares. But if you did remember, they ended up nerfing the AD LeBlanc. They ended up nerfing as well some of the ratios on the static shiv, I believe. But he makes his way towards the Storm Raider. Storm Raider? Storm Razor. So many different the Storm, storm Surge, Storm Raider, Storm Razor. Storm Raider Surge used to be a, a rune, actually, now that I think about it. That's probably what's mucking me up. As we easily take down that Viego. Fake is starting to ramp up a little bit here. Samira goes in. Gotta be careful of the ultimate. I guess, look at this, man. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. He goes in to their base. Unstoppable. Almost goes down there. He is on a little bit of a hot one here as his team finally takes the gold lead. Pops over. Baker really knows the... Limits with this champion, as I don't know what happened with that EE, but it's alright. And Faker did end up picking an Oriana skin. He didn't end up going with Ari, as he's going to go down to the rail here, I think. Goes down, Samira actually does a triple somersault flash, gets him. Um, A lot of people are asking, like, do you think T1 are going to win Worlds this year again, back to back? I reckon there's a good chance. Uh, I still, and I I'm, I know I'm getting hate for this, but I still like... I like Gen.G. I like Chovy. I like Chovy getting an upgrade in top and jungle. It no longer has to be a one-man show. As... I think his bot lane is just running it. It's solo queue. We're going to TP in here, making our way towards the Triforce, of course. Now, Sheen costs a thousand gold now, by the way. It's actually a very big spike as Fakey goes in. Literally not able to get anything. He's going to have to try and get the wave here. This is going to be a tough game to come back from. Hops back. Annoying as possible. Ra, ra, ra. La, la, la. 
Get stun. Get stun. W's out. Might tick back. Doesn't use it. Here comes the Sedge. And we go down. Baker slamming his keyboard probably already at the start of the season. I always advise guys at the start of the season to play on your Smurf or your side account. Don't play on your main account or your highest rank account because the games and people are in so fragile of a mood. They're testing new builds on champions that they've seen people play. Like, you're never going to get consistency that you need to climb. So if you are looking to make another ranked climb this year, play the first week or two on a different account and just like test out the new builds and the new strategies for the champions you play. Then make your way over to ranked, you know? It's sometimes just best to avoid the first first week griefers. Because it happens. I've been playing this game for 15 years and it happens every year. We had no downtime of a preseason this year, which I liked personally. But there was like no off time, so... A lot of the people who didn't achieve their end of season rank, who were grinding and went psychopath, now they're instantly into the new season and still mentally deranged. Baker's still trying to make his way and delete this mid lane tower. A bit of a struggle here. You need to be careful. I don't even know what Samira builds now. All I know is she has like a 56% win rate bot lane and she seems to 1v9 every single game. Ooh, Rel potentially going down. Rel's first death straight over the Ezreal. I just don't know how you kill the Samira. I have no idea how you do it. You definitely aren't going to kill the Sedge. Too tanky. Master Yi has to try and shred that. Oh? No, this, can, this might be really good. This might be really good. That's how you do it. You CC her. Baker makes his way back. Not able to get his Triforce by still though. Couple more waves of clearing. Surely he's close. Hey team, don't fight. Just wait. Spam ping's out on the Baron though. This might be tough. Baker has TP. If he needs to go home, get Triforce TP in, he can. He has a great flank ward. But can in He's going to pull the trigger early. And we get CC'd for 27 seconds. We flash out. Actually able to weave a couple of autos here. This might be fine. And Faker, no. He's out of here. Not working for me, buddy. They're hovering like they want to end the game. There's no chance they end here. There is no chance you guys end here. What are they doing? They're going for the end. Okay. Baker hits the Triforce now. Praying he makes it a full build this game. Blue buff, of course, now it goes to the entire team. It's actually a way tankier, bigger buff. Don't, like, it will take you 20 seconds to kill it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's get a pick. The one thing about AD LeBlanc is it's all single target damage. Like, when you're trying to 1v9 a game, it's near an old oh, chain lands. It's near impossible. As Silas takes down the rail, Kenning gets the Master Yi. 
Baker looking to try and get an angle here. Master Yi frontlining. Ezra able to take down the cannon. And Simira on the way to a pentakill. That is disgusting. Baker lands the charm. Holy shoot. I don't know what the blue item that Samira has. Oh my god. We have Master Yi in five seconds. Please don't let them end. Please don't let them end. I think that might be game, gentlemen. I think it might be game. No, it's not. They defend. Baker on the hunt. If they're able to get an ace here, this could be massive. Yes. Yes. The moves. Careful. Go in. Oh. That is so... That is so frustrating to watch. I... Oh. I really thought he was here. Master Yi takes down the Viego. They're going to try round two on the base end, I think. The fake are doing what AD Long does best. Just be the biggest nuisance in the world. Chain goes wide. Doesn't matter. Takes down the Rel. That's his seventh kill of the game. Now looking to try and pick up the Samira. Hey. Careful, careful, careful. Faker not able to land protobelt. What the hell from the pig? Not able to land anything. And okay. It's still winnable. I still don't know why I, I this like when I watch this AD LeBlanc pick, like I get it, it's annoying. But I still don't know why these LCK players love it. It looks good until it's not. We almost make our way towards the infinity edge here. Maybe then I will be convinced. I guess they do have like two giga tanks in Rel and Sedge. But tanks are pretty common these days in these comps, so you got to expect it. As Faker gets robbed of the blue, it seems. And he's just like, he's literally just Wing in, looking for the auto, and then backing out onto the Samira. One ace at around about this time in the game should mean a GG. Clear the mid lane wave and then move over to the objective. That's definitely the right call. They haven't started up the Nash yet. Faker trying to land an auto, doesn't get anything. Gets one onto the pig. Oh, that's actually a really good pick. They take down the pig, massive Silasalt. Faker able to get there, able to get down onto the Samira as well. Master Yi. What can they get from this? They should be able to get Nash. They can't end the game. And fake out, just put onto the wave clear duty as Viego. Probably went back to base. I didn't see his health bar, but hopefully he's not hovering around the Nash. You head in. Secure that bad boy. I don't think he got that much gold there. He still can't get that IE. He's looking for the item. 120 CS Leota of this cannon. Cannon mid lane mains, they're actually, there's actually a couple of them in the world. And they just never see yes. Rakan gets one shot, we put one auto under the... There's no damage here, man. There's no damage. Put one auto under the Samira for like 200. Here we go. Here we go. Tap back, they're able to get down onto the Viego. Nothing matters unless... Hey. Oh my god, chain, does it land? Auto, auto, bang. We've done it. Shut down, 9-3-13. Looking to get on top of the pig now. 
gets it. Triple kill over to Faker. There's the damage, I guess. It's just annoying. Okay, we're going to have enough for IE on next base. This is exciting. I like it. And I forget who Faker was spamming last, at the start of this last season. I definitely did a video on it. I, I think it was... I can't... I can't remember what the hell it was. As we go back, we finally pick up the IE. Now looking for those crits. IE into what? GA? Could you go Spear of Sojourn on, on this champion or no? Soul fight coming up, 32 minutes in the game. Feels like next team to win a team fight is going to win in time match. Make a face checking. They're hiding on bush. They do have the mid lane. They have a really good mid lane wave running into the base here. Enemy team a little bit stuck. I really like Faker's positioning. As he goes in, getting the autos onto the Samira. Has to tap back. Goes back in on the Samira. Not able to get anything significant. And Samira gets that kill. And I'm pretty sure they're going to clean house on the team fight. Luckily, they did have that mid lane wave pushed. The fake is going to be able to fix that up. And then not... Wait, they don't even need it though. Gentlemen, they don't need it. The enemy base, his base is completely open. And that is going to be straight up the GG. That is Faker's first game on the new season, guys. AD LeBlanc. Thank you so much for watching. I wish it was, I wish it was a better ending, but it is what it is. I'll catch you on my next video. Good night.